let's take a look at what happened to my garden in March. Uh, let's take a look at these spring onions. They, I grow these just from the bottom of onions that I get at the grocery store, and they are just growing some huge spring Ooh, onions. Look at that scallion, Ricky. And uh, so I just keep planting, and I keep pulling. And here we have a bucket of some lettuce and some lavender and a few little garlic in there, I believe. My sweet basil is looking nice. i uh, trying to plant some oregano, but the squirrel keeps digging up my little pods. My cilantro and my curly and flat leaf parsley. Here I've got my arugula and my kale. It's going to take us to the bucket of love. The lemon balm is back. I have already cut it down once, and this is it coming back a second time. Loving my tea. Uh, this was another random bucket that I had with some lettuce, and there was actually some spinach there, and the squirrel kind of got to that too. These buckets were where the broccoli was, so we will be planting some new stuff in there, so come back next month for my next review. Flowers are doing well in the boots. Some more green onions. Here we have a small struggling mandarin tree, so we'll see how that goes. That brings us over to the third row where I have again some more random lettuce. And here I have my peppers. These are sweet bell peppers. So I'm just waiting for them to start to change color. And we'll go ahead and harvest some of those. These next buckets is where I had the potatoes. And uh, the plants never flowered. They never really produced. And they just sort of withered and died. So uh, I pulled them up. But uh, luckily, surprisingly, I, uh, I found these <laughs> when I did. And they were tasty. So in their place, I have now planted these sweet potatoes. And that's what you saw there. Uh, these buckets are all set up to put in the long beans, uh, random carrots. Over here was where we had stuck some of the andrine tomato plants that weren't doing so well over in the Kratky area. Uh, so we plant them in soil to see if they would sort of take off. Only one of them has taken off. These others don't look too well. Um, and the other taller ones that you see with the tomatoes on them is uh, just some more of the Everglade tomatoes that came from the big vine. These are just some random tomato seeds that I found a packet of in my seed tray, so I went ahead and planted them. The Everglades are doing uh, really well, and I'm getting lots of tomatoes from them still. And it takes us to the determinant tomatoes. And uh, you remember the big ones down here were just starting to turn red. So we picked those, let them ripen, and I had my very first BLT sandwich ever. It was so tasty. I, of course, I fried the tomatoes before I put it on there. It made it that much more tastier. <laughs> made a sauce out of the rest of it. And we've got some, uh, we've got two tomatoes coming up here on this determinant plant, and I'm not sure if it's the same. I think the other ones are burgundy. These don't look to be the same shape as the other ones when they first started, but we'll see what happens when they grow. My flowers, these are the blanket flowers or garnelias, and you'll remember that this one branch was just one of these bushes over here that was in the ground, and I pulled it up and it had one flower on it and as I've been picking the flowers for my pressed flower art or just to enjoy uh, this one branch now has like 15 different buds on it I was hoping that they would all bloom before the end of the month for the video but I'll take a picture and post it on Instagram for you so make sure to follow Instagram I do put updates of my garden on there as the month goes through this is my Malabar spinach it is uh, coming back these seeds uh, some people say you can eat them, some people say you can't, but you can definitely use them as dye. Maybe I'll have fun doing something 
with some material in that. This is where we just planted a whole tomato, and this is what happens when you plant a whole tomato. And I believe it was a, it was just an Everglades cherry tomato, and those things are full of seeds. Uh, this is my pineapple. It's looking good, and these are the orange trees, and they're continuing to grow. We, uh, of course, uh, we do love our. QVC slash home shopping network and we broke down and we went ahead and we bought the cottage farms strawberry plants. So we've got those planted and we are going to see how they go. They are supposed to be marvelous. In here now in the Kratky area, um, this is actually the pepper plant that we have inside. We had just set it outside for a little bit to get the photos. But you can see that the peppers are starting to turn color. So that's fun. And these are the strawberry plants that we had in the Kratky method. And they were not, um, they kind of went through a shock also. So we've sort of pulled them out, cleaned them up and restarted. And our tiny Tim tomatoes that we uh, have started from seed are finally ripening. And um, we went ahead and harvested a handful of those and made some little bruschettas out of them. And they were extremely tasty. And we are still enjoying our sprouts. Here we have some bok choy sprouts and some lettuce sprouts. I thought you'd get a kick out of checking out the bird cage and how it's coming along. Peppers and flowers and tomatoes, oh my. Please make sure to hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to leave a comment, visit my t-shirt shop and my social media links, and we'll see you real soon.